What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hinkle Fishing. Today we got a crazy swim bait unboxing. Got a ton of super high end baits in here. My first ever Piz, which will be the last bait I open. So y'all gotta stay tuned to see that one. We got some big wake baits. We got a miscellaneous little uh, soft plastic regular little creature bait in here. But y'all have to stay tuned to see all the baits inside these boxes. Got quite a few. This was a nice winter pickup. Uh, Traded away one of my baits to get some of these and some of these I just bought. So let's dive into these boxes. Technically there's three packages, but I only have two because two of the baits came in a bag and I wanted to put them back in a box, so that's why it looks like there's only two. We're gonna start with the most boring item first. Bam! Doe Live Cross because it was cheaper to buy these than to pay for shipping because it had to be $50 for the order, so. This saved me money, actually. These are like a, uh, I think these are one of the people from Japan's signature color. It's a green pumpkin on the front, as you can see, and then it's a hot pink on the back. And these are a three and a half inch uh, doe life craw. I have not thrown any doe life craws. I know that Rapala just knocked off these, so I'm gonna get the Rapala version and these ones and compare them. Anyways, now onto the swim bait. Don't wanna get hooked. There's some loose hooks in here. Bait. Number one and two. Pow. Right there, we got two Osakana Slide 170s from the Hookup Tackle. This box came from the Hookup Tackle. We got one in the pink color right here. It's called Pink Trick. Real nice white and pink back. I'll pull it out and show y'all in a second. And then we got this one. I think this one's called Goldie. Let me see. It's called Golden Magic. It's a nice from more transparent gold color. And what these are, here I'll pull the pink one out, it's brighter. All right, so basically what this is, is a soft plastic glide bait. As you can see on the bait wall, all of these are hard baits, most of them, besides the little section on the right. And this basically combines the two of a soft plastic swim bait, like a paddle tail, and then a glide bait. These are made by Raid, Japan is the company. And these sold out like instantly the first drop, and I didn't get any of them. So when they re-released re them this week, I had to get two of them. They're, they're $20, I think, $22 or something per bait. And it comes rigged with this little extra stinger hook on the back. But I've seen a lot of guys, they'll just take that off. Here's that pink color up close. It's a nice transparent white with just super fire pink on the back. And uh, a lot of guys are running these with just the main front treble, but they do come rigged with a stinger. It's attached to this little rope that you would just I think you can attach it to these fins on the back of the bait, right here actually, and it'll sit, I can't show you all very well, but it'll sit just like that, attached to the back fin, but yeah, let me show you all the other color real quick. All right, here is the golden magic color, and these are 170 millimeters, so a little over six or seven inches, and it says they're 46 grams on the package, and I don't know what that is in ounces, but I'm assuming like one and a half to two ounces maybe. But these will be super sweet to throw. I have to get out and try these as soon as possible. These will definitely catch fish. I've seen the guys at the hookup already making videos about these and they have been catching some on them so they definitely work. But yeah, that is the Osakana Slide 170 from Raid. All right, the next two baits came in uh, a couple of days ago and that's why all these boxes are already open is because I had to make sure that well, I, what I was getting was actually in there because I'm getting these baits in trades and stuff, and so you just gotta make sure that people are legit. So I had to open them, so I'm not sitting here making an unboxing video and it turns out I got the wrong baits or they didn't send me what I actually got. Anyways, we got two more baits that are the same, but completely different color schemes right here. Here's the next two baits. These are made by Doobie. These are called the Apollo C3. I um, saw a killer deal on these in one of the groups I'm in. I got both of them for like less than the price of one retail. And the guy I bought them from is actually a bait painter. His name is Shank Bait Co. if y'all wanna go check him out. And these were a completely different color pattern before he painted them obviously. This one was like a shad pattern and this one was like a, a matte, like teal and orange gill pattern. And so I had him do, this one's like a pink lemonade style color. Like Throwback Baits is known for this color pattern right here. A lot of guys on, uh, or the Homeless Fisherman specifically has uh, has a wake walker that's this color and he catches a ton of fish on it and also my buddy Eric has a Piz runt that's all yellow so this will be my com competitor for that bait even though it's like a third of the price and this one I decided to go with a green sunfish pattern on it because that's what 
a lot of the ponds around me have in them and I'm sure the bass are munching on them so I, these tails obviously don't match at the moment but I, I uh, hit up Doobies swim baits on Instagram and they are making me some custom tails for these right now and they should be in I think they already shipped them actually I got a hot pink tail coming from this one and then if y'all have ever seen a green sunfish they have like the greenish brown tail and they have like white and orange tips on it so I'm getting a custom tail made to match that but yeah here's the little Doobie Apollo C3 it says Doobie swim baits on the bill right there I'm not sure if y'all can see that but these are like a five inch, one and a half ounce wake bait. So, those will fill a gap in the arsenal quite nice. Okay, on to the last package. And some of these are a mystery because the guy sent me an extra bait. Or he actually sent me two extra baits than what he was supposed to. Awesome guy. Shout out you because you know who you are. But Bait number one right here that he gave me as a little extra bonus. He gave me this Magjuff right here. Which, if those of you who don't know, I just made a post about these in this exact color right here. Gave me a nice little 6-inch mag draft. This will definitely get bit, definitely get thrown. But yeah, there's bait number one in the box. And I got all the baits in this box for that 11-inch trashy bass that I used to have. That I traded away because that really didn't fit in my arsenal. Didn't fit the type of way I'm fishing. So I decided to let go of it. But I honestly think it was worth it because of all the baits I just got for that one bait. So, bait number two. Let's open this one because this is the extra that he sent me that I don't even know what it is. So, let's open it together. Here we go. I have no clue what this even is. He sent it to me as an extra because he didn't say he didn't throw it. Ooh, that actually looks pretty cool. Here we go. Nice little wooden wake bait. Looks kind of like a Beebs. A mixture of a Beebs. I don't even know what it is. Has some pretty cool paint work done to it. I like the eyes on it too. Just a nice large two-piece wake bait. It has rotating hook hangers in it, which is nice. I'm not even sure what this is. I've never even seen one before, but I think it's wood. It's wood or resin. I'm not sure. It sounds like wood though. But yeah, that was a nice little extra bait he threw in in the trade. And that is pretty sweet. Anything for free is always amazing. So, there we go. Little wooden wake bait. Next, what we got? Not that one. That one's last. We got this right here. This was expected to come in the package. Let me open it up real quick. He did a great job packaging these, making sure they arrived to me in one piece. And right here, we got this monster. This is a jacked up rat right here is the company that makes it for us the bait name. It's a two piece, two piece wooden rat, all black, big old rubber tail on there. And I'll put a clip of a freaking rat that I was, I was fishing at a pond two days ago and this is exactly why you throw a rat bait because there's muskrats in almost every pond around me. So this thing will definitely get bit. But as I was fishing this muskrat just came swimming straight at me and I got a little video of that so I'll put that clip in right now. It better catch the biggest fish it. you've ever had because it might, that bro. tail is so gross. And it's, it being all it black looks hair is, looks even grosser. It has hair. Okay, I don't need to know that. It doesn't actually have hair. It's okay. like painted on there. Bro, you should make a bait where it has real hair on it. People do that. Alright, but yeah, like I said, this is a very fat rat right here. It's made by a company called Jacked Up Baits, I think. Or it's called the Jacked Up Rat. I didn't do very much research on it. I just didn't own any rat baits, so I was like, sure, I'll take that in the trade. But uh, my older brother Jacob has actually caught like a six pounder out of our land on a spro rat, which is somewhere on the bait wall, somewhere up there. But this one is made of wood, so as you can hear, it knocks really, really loud. And very, very solid piece of wood. Very nice bait. Super nice paint job on it. I'm very happy to get this. And now. Uh, on to the last bait. The best bait in the box right here. My first ever Piz. This bait's worth like five, six, seven hundred dollars. Right here. Here we go. 
Oh yeah. My first ever Piz. Right there. I got a beast weight. And a super sweet gill pattern. I had a couple of options of beast weights to choose from. And this is the one I went with. I could have gotten like a, a tilapia pattern beast wake, an all black beast wake, or uh, like a pumpkin seed one. But this was the best one in my opinion. This is a, for those of you who don't know, Piz is like one of the hardest companies to get a bait from right now. Not necessarily hard, but there's like not very many on the market and the demand is extremely high. And that's why they're so valuable. They retail for like $300. Like, that's the retail price, and so they're a high dollar to get, even if you are able to get your hands on one for retail. But if not, you're going to be paying flipper prices or resale prices, which can be anywhere from $500 to $1,000 for almost every single Piz lure. They have an amazing swim, they catch a lot of fish, but that's why they bring the high prices because they're, they're proven baits, proven fish catchers. But this is my first one I've ever owned, and I'm extremely excited. But yeah, there is the Piz Beast Lake right there. Do a little overview of all the baits we got right here. Here's the Doobie number one in that green sunfish pattern. Then we got the pink lemonade Doobie right here. It's a little bit glary, sorry about that. Then we got that other larger wake bait up there. Not even sure of the brand or name of that one. We got the Piz Beast in the sick gill pattern and then the two Osakana slides and uh, the mag draft. And the Dolive Beavers right there. But amazing amazing unboxing i forgot about the wrap there's the wrap bait too i'm gonna share a little frowned upon information <laughs> but uh i basically got all of these baits for like 350 dollars in total and this one bait right here is worth like 600 dollars. i paid 150 for both of those doobies and they retail for 180 a piece and then for all the other, the other four baits I got, which the, the guy I traded with was extremely generous and super nice, but I got all four of those for that one 11 inch trashy bass glide that I had, and I paid 160 for that on a bait drop. So I got a killer, killer deal. And then I paid retail for the Osakondas, but obviously that was on a bait drop, and those were 50 bucks combined with the Dolai viewers. So crazy, crazy deals I got on all of these. Extremely, extremely blessed to have all of these and extremely excited to throw them. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video and like all these new cool baits I just got. Like I said in all my other previous videos, gonna be making hopefully personalized or individual videos about each one of these baits and me catching fish on them. At least a TikTok per bait, because once I catch a fish on each one, I'll probably make a short video about it. But honestly, the fishing has sucked. It just now is warm enough to start fishing again, and the pond's finally unfroze, but I've been getting skunked. Got skunked the past two days. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get out this weekend and try and catch a fish. Uh, pretty busy during the week with work and school now, but I do as much as I can. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, enjoyed looking at all these really cool baits with me. And like, subscribe, follow the Instagram, follow the TikTok for future uploads, and peace out.